Hey, this does not look weird at all. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel, and the weather has changed drastically, which is quite the bar because it looked really beautiful out here. We are here in uh, Carter River. I think that's what it's called. And let's see, we got some scrap metal. I'm, I'm still quite encumbered. Um, for whatever reason, this broke, this thing. I don't think we need to... Okay, easy there, easy there, easy there. I'm not standing on you. Um, for whatever reason, this thing broke, and we can actually walk along this ledge in a snowstorm. From all the things I've done so far that are not smart, this is definitely one of them. Definitely a bigger one. Stop barking. It's all gonna be fine. And apparently there is another area over here. This is this is quite interesting. This doesn't only seem to be a transition zone. That seems to be oh, quite big actually. Or it might be a transition zone. I don't know when one can consider this. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, the music. That makes me very uncomfortable. Okay, we got a dead deer, a ravaged deer carcass. There's barely anything left in here. I guess we could just get the hideout and the guts, but we would have to cure them as well. You know, for, for now, let's just look around. Let's explore this place. This is super interesting. Man, very ominous. I wonder if I can pellets. Yeah, I can break him down. Got a, getting me a lot of wood there, but nah, I don't need it. We're doing fine. I mean, it's getting super cold. And I might as well spend the night inside, but oh, it goes up here. Where does this lead? Oh, okay, it leads nowhere. Oh, wait. This seems to be the big, uh, the, the big hall. Cotter Hydro Dam. Ooh. Interesting. We found a little... Oh, I did not know that. This brings us back inside into this place, which, by the way, since the save game was a little messed up, I did not explore yet, at least not in this episode. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick look around again and see what we can find. I forgot what was here in the first place. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No, nobody will need... Oh, I haven't... I missed those shoes the last time. Look at that. Good that we came back. It uh, doesn't seem like I can get out again, which is quite the bummer. But, well, now we know how to get back in. We're gonna have to backtrack if we want to go outside again. But considering how friggin' cold and windy it is outside, we might as well stay a little bit inside. And, oh, right, those are the tools back here. And I have my pry bar, so I'm forcing this open again. So, before we go out again, uh, the same way, that we came before. We are going to repair our stuff, um, have a quick look at our equipment, and as we can see, um, there's some items we can harvest and some items that actually need repairing, and we're gonna get right on that. Okay, now that we harvested everything, there are some things that need our attention, like this wool hat. It's not doing too, too well. Same with the scarf we found. So let's go and repair all of this stuff with the remaining daylight we have. Okay, so we used up all of our cloth, and we're actually looking really well in the clothing department. We're still way and over encumbered, which is quite the bummer. And I think I'm gonna leave a few things behind, like the antiseptic, which is half a kilogram, and pretty much anything over here, like all those sticks. Even though they're super useful to make a fire, I think we're gonna be inside for a while now. Actually, we're going outside again, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave all of that stuff behind. Same with the tools, I picked up some tools. Uh, I'm not going to need them right now. And we have way too many matches. Not that I mind having them, but there's so many, it's not useful anymore. Same goes with the sewing kits. It's great that we found all of these items, but we need a maximum of two. And we're actually going to drop a fresh deer hide that's actually not cured yet. Alright, might as well drop that. It's gonna stay in here and cure for us. Yeah, 1% cured. That's gonna take a little bit, and we're gonna pick it up eventually if we ever come back to this. And out we go again. At least we can see again and have a quick look around and enjoy the beautiful scenery and it's not all fogged up. Ugh, those sounds make me so nervous. And I would never do that in real life. I this just screams falling down. Alright, let's extinguish that. We don't need this. Okay, I can see a wolf down here. It makes me a little nervous. Okay, let's explore the rest of this platform. Got a lot of wooden planks. Oh, that's neat. Doesn't take too long to break that down if we ever wanted to make a giant fire here. Not that I have the intention. And, oh wow. Some newspapers. How do these still stay on there? Uh, just everything's broken down. I don't see anything that would make sense to grab. Nah, 
We're all good. We're all good. But yeah, this is the other side of the Carter Hydro Dam, if you ever were wondering. And it looks pretty amazing in my books. So let's see where this zone actually leads. I wonder if it leads to Coastal Highway to the other side that was usually before not available. And I see the wolf running there. I hope he's not coming for me. If he is, I'm ready. Actually, I prefer to use the flare. Yeah, you stay away, you silly wolf. Pretty sure he was hunting a deer. That was way too far away. But better safe than sorry. Somewhere up there is a backpack. Pretty sure I saw it. Maybe I can jump up here? Oh yeah, that looks good. All oh, right, I forgot you can't jump in this game. <laughs> that would have helped a lot. Oh, wait, you want to say hi too? Welcome back. Okay, let's see. No wolf. Well, looks good. <laughs> Since people keep asking randomly when they... Oh. Okay, steaks. I'm just gonna get the cattail plants. I mean, we can't eat them, and we get some extra tinder. Not that I ever run out of tinder in this game. I'll gladly take it as food. Not very nutritious, but food is food. I'm not gonna leave that behind while I get the chance. And I can see the wolf back there. He hunted down a rabbit. A wabbit. Ooh. That was actually quite the impressive dam. Well, maybe we can find something at the end. Apparently some logs ended up here. However that happened. Hmm. Oh, I'm thirsty. I totally forgot to take care of my food and hunger meters. Guess we're gonna go for some sodas. And we're so fatigued that we are really, really encumbered. I don't even think we can run for much longer. Uh, I would prefer to not deal with the wolf at all and not waste a flare. So I'm just gonna hope that I can properly sneak around. Yeah, there he is. Oh, never mind. Get away. Um. Get away. Go! Yeah, you keep running. Asshat. Okay. Here's a plan. I'm not gonna go back to the Carter Hydro Dam, even though it would be safe shelter. <clears throat> I'm going to try- yeah! Okay. Yeah, you come. Buddy. I'm going to try to make my way to another safe location, wherever that might be. Yeah, you just keep trailing me. This thing is gonna burn for a while. I got all the time. Well, actually, I'm lying. I don't get all the time. Uh, it's always the... Oh. It's always the way to drop some venison and leave that behind. He would probably prefer to eat some meat instead of, like, having to kill me. Which he probably would be unsuccessful. Yep, I'm exhausted. I can't even run anymore. I made mistakes. Okay, we have to get rid of him. Run! Oh shit, okay. Give me that. Run! Okay. When he runs in that direction, I'm gonna go the other one. Not that I can run anymore, but I'm exhausted. That should give me enough distance for him to not follow me. From all the choices that I could have picked, this might have not been the smartest one. Oh, this goes left and right? Okay, now I'm confused. Let's, let's go right. Let's see where this leads. I wonder if this is a connection point to all three zones. If so, that would be pretty amazing. Oh, okay, this looks like the dead end. Never mind. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna not even harvest those. Got enough problems as it is. Wait, are you kidding me? Is it also dead end? Oh, please don't tell me that this is a complete dead end. Please don't tell me that. Hey, bunny. You seem stuck. Yeah, this does not look weird at all. <laughs> okay, you just do your thing. You just do your thing. Just keep running. I can't catch him. I need a trap for that. Um. Okay, this is not a dead end, I repeat. Not a dead end. Tricked me. There's a little path. Where will that lead? Hopefully to some sort of shelter. I would really not like to stay outside tonight. 
Ooh. Okay, this leads down here. <laughs> Finally, we're a little bit faster. Oh, man. Uh, too many paths. Where is this going? This is a pretty big zone, from what I can tell. I could probably start a fire here somewhere. Oh. I wonder if that is a cave or a transition zone. Hmm. Possibly... No, this is too big for a cave. Okay, in case we need to make a fire, I see some sticks on the floor here. I'm gonna pick them up. Just in case. It's always good to be prepared for the worst case scenario. Which I'm rapidly approaching. Cave! Okay. It's just called cave? Oh, this is their own zone? Are you kidding me? Wow. Going cave exploring. They added way more stuff than I thought they would. Um, that reminds me. There are bears in this game. Bears love caves. We should probably be watching out for that. Okay. And I'm really happy that I still have this flare. This is worrisome. Wow. This is a whole cave net, damn it. Well, there goes my flare. God damn it. There's a whole cave network down here. I don't know if I approve of this. Hello? Someone here? Okay, I think. Nope, not a dead end. At least not. There's a dead end. Okay. Let's head back. Wow. This is a pretty impressive cave there. Ooh, that stuff is shiny. I actually wonder if that's some metal in there. It looks like it, honestly. I guess why not? Okay, let's keep going, let's keep exploring. I mean, it's not very cold in here. We could probably spend the night in one of these caves. Oh, wow. Okay, people have been here. I can confirm. There's a man-made bridge. Wherever that's gonna lead us. Oh, never mind! Dead person! <coughs> let's, let's say hi to the dead person. I think I'm gonna... I have, like, five hours of daylight left. I'm gonna sleep for two or so. Just to, to, to get faster again. Hey, man. Nothing personal, I just need your stuff. Okay, backpack. Bedroll. Hmm. You know what? Let's have a quick look at our bedroll. Our one is at 62%. If I drop that, how much is this one? 88%. Alright, I'll take this then. Um, burned out campfire. Yeah, this was his last place where he stayed. Okay. I think we're gonna just sleep for a little bit until we get the fatigue off. I say two hours, that should be enough. Gonna be warm enough. And once we get some sleep, we can finally run again. Well, ah, uh, fatigue meter could be better. Could definitely be better. What if we drink a coffee? Just just a quick coffee to wake us up. So the last few hours remaining will help us. Okay. Lots of reclaimed wood. I'm gonna make use of that. Let's start a fire here. Mm, enough wooden matches. Ah, uh, sure. Let's do some kerosene to start a fire. That's quicker. We don't have a whole lot of daylight left. So... Tin of coffee! Yes. And let's see how much that wakes us up. We're currently at this level. And if I take my coffee... Yes. Ching ching. I wonder how much that wakes us up. Uh, not too much, I think, but at least... I mean, a little bit, but at least it's gonna keep us warm, uh, and keep us awake a little longer. This looks so awesome from here. Man, I love this. The game is fantastic. In terms of atmosphere. Okay, careful, don't fall down here. Oh, please tell me there's a path. There's better be a path, otherwise I'm gonna be really bummed. Alright, let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I hope this leads somewhere. 
And hopefully not into a bear's mouth. All right, there's another exit. Where does this lead? To Pleasant Valley. Actually, we did find a connection from Mystery Lake to Pleasant Valley this way. That's really nice. I have no idea where this is, but here's a dead guy. Hey, man. How are you feeling today? A little cold, I bet. Okay, you know what? Let's turn the light off for now. So, we have like two hours of daylight left. What I'm going to do with the remaining daylight, I'm going to grab some sticks on the ground if we can. Oh. Is there a way to come back up here? Okay, over there. I'm looking for a way so I can walk back up onto the cave. Yeah, here, this looks good. Uh, what I want to find is sticks on the ground. At least that's my plan. Unless we find a hut here. Why are there no sticks anywhere? Is that... Okay, there's one. I need a few sticks to start a fire. And then we're gonna boil ourselves some water because we barely have any water left. I'm amazed that it takes him 10 minutes to break down a stick. Okay, I'm not going to find anything with the snow. I'm certainly not going to be able to harvest some wood. Oh, damn it. Where's... Oh, where's the entrance to the cave? Weasel? Where's the entrance to the cave? Where is it? Okay, I think it's here. I don't think we have enough sticks to actually boil enough water. But I'm definitely going to spend it inside. It's way too cold out here. And I'm not going to find anything this way. I have no idea where I am, actually. This is Pleasant Valley, and I know Pleasant Valley a little bit. But this is quite new to me. Okay, there's the cave. Let's head back inside. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to stay next to the entrance here. Hopefully we're gonna be able to sleep well. Okay, how much... How many sticks do I have with me? I have... Five sticks. And I won't burn for too long. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to make ourselves some water another time. For now, we're just gonna sleep for the night. Uh, I should probably eat something first. Probably some of my spoiling meat. And might as well use the remainder of the day to... Harvest and repair my clothing. Okay, our stuff is repaired. Uh, we have no daylight left. It's way too dark. Wow. I did not expect it to be that dark. And I dropped some meat on the floor. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> I... What's happening? Grab that meat. Where am I? Oh, okay. Here I am. There's my... Bedroll. Okay, well, it's, it is completely dark in here. Uh, let's just hope a bear doesn't maul us to death. We're going to sleep, I would say, ah, eight hours. And going to start a new fresh day in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I hope you guys enjoyed us exploring the caves here. Wait, is it still night? Oh, yeah, one hour of darkness left. Might as well sleep a little bit more. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Helps out a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.